Coming back in five, four. Copy. Zero, zero, 36 to 41. Presidential candidate Michelle Bachman thinks our troops are the best. They are the best. This is the easiest thing to get behind. It doesn't get any better to help our troops when they are literally on the lines fighting for our freedom. Presidential candidate Herman Cain will not apologize for having the biggest, baddest, greatest military on the planet. And I don't apologize for having the biggest, baddest, greatest military on the planet. Presidential candidate Mitt Romney would like the rest of us to support the troops even more than we already do. I think it's time for American citizens and politicians to show a surge of support and for us to reach out to our neighbors who are serving in the military. And the presidential candidate Rick Santorum marvels, as we all do, at the selfless act of volunteering to serve in a time of war. So we have a culture right now that doesn't say serve. It doesn't say don't think about yourself. It says me, me, me. It's a very self-absorbed, me-centered, excessive popular culture. And yet we have brave men and women who are willing to step forward because they know what's at stake. They're willing to sacrifice their lives for this great country. Stephen Hill is a decorated captain in the U.S. Army where he's been a reservist for 20 years. He is this very night serving in combat in Iraq as he was last night when he asked this question via YouTube at the GOP debate in Orlando, Florida. In 2010, when I was deployed to Iraq, I had to lie about who I was because I'm a gay soldier and I didn't want to lose my job. My question is, under one of your presidencies, do you intend to circumvent the progress that's been made for gay and lesbian soldiers in the military? That was a big room full of Republican primary voters booing an American combat soldier who, as he was speaking, was in combat. The audience members who were booing were in Orlando. Soon they'll surely be in hell, though not soon enough. Not everyone was booing. There were people in the audience who heard Captain Hill say that when he was deployed to Iraq, he was worried that if his sexuality was discovered, they might not let him go. As opposed to most of us who, if told we were being deployed to Iraq, would go Corporal Klinger faster than pull on a yellow taffeta picnic dress. I'm sure there were even some people in the building who stood up for Captain Hill. People who had the simple strength of character to turn to the fraction of a human in the seat next to them and say, how many different kinds of disgusting do you have to be to boo a man who volunteered to fight and die for you? I'm sure those people were there. I'm sure there were many of them. But unfortunately, none of them were on the stage. Not one of these would-be commanders-in-chief took a moment to stand with a line officer. They let him stand alone. Soldiers never do that. Leaders never do that. Witless bullies and hapless punks do it all the time. The only president on the stage last night was Stephen Hill. Godspeed, Captain Hill, and come home soon. A grateful nation is waiting to say thank you. That's Newsnight for September 23rd. Terry Smith is up next with the Capitol Report. I'm Will McAvoy. Good night. How do these people boo a soldier? How do the candidates say nothing? And how are you a member of this party? I'm changing it from within.